everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this really cute jar. This is a solar powered light, so it'll hang outside and I've got a little hook here just to show you an example of how you can hang them outside, just like so, and just give a little bit of ambient light to your garden. All right, so my supplies are going to be from the Dollar Tree and I need the specific items to create this one little lamp. So I'm going to be using this jar See how it has that little opening in the top? This lid does come off, simple as that. And then we're gonna need one of these steak lights. These are solar powered. I would have preferred to grab a black one. They only had silver at this time, but you could actually just paint that black with some craft paint if you don't find it in black. All right, we're also gonna need some black wire. You can use any wire you wanna use actually. A 20 gauge is good enough, so we're gonna use that one. All right, and some very optional supplies are going to be some paint. So I've got some craft paints in various colors, and I've also got some Mod Podge. If you don't find Mod Podge, you can always use some Elmer's or white school glue. Those are perfectly fine to use for this particular project. Another option is to use some twine, or you can use some ribbon if you prefer. Also optional is this garden stake that I also found at the Dollar Tree. It's got a nice little hook here and the stakes at the bottom, which I can stick into the ground and then I can hang my little lights from here. Now for my glues, I'm gonna be using hot glue, but you can also use a fix-all type of adhesive or an E6000. These are easily found at the Dollar Tree. So I've got some glue sticks here. I'm also going to need these flat-nosed pliers. If you need something like that, wire cutters to cut the wire. If you're gonna use some twine, you're gonna need some scissors to cut that or a ribbon. And if you're going to be painting, you'll of course need a little brush. All right, so those were all our supplies and tools, so let's get to crafting. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to paint the inside of our jars, and I've got two of them here already done so that you can see how that looks. All right, so I'm gonna be using a little canister to add some Mod Podge in there. So let me give you a little tip of what I used here. I used these water bottles, empty water bottles. You can recycle them and use them for your paint. So I'm just gonna cut it short. And there's a little bit of water in there. That's okay, we can always use that or just dump it out. But anyway, now I've got two little containers, super easy item to use. All right, so I'm gonna get some Mod Podge and pour it into my little container. Just a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna put some paint in it, just a few drops. And then I can mix it all up. Okay, once you've got your paint and your Mod Podge or your white glue all mixed up like that, we are going to go ahead and paint the inside of our jar. So I'm gonna remove this lid off of it. Now the reason that I'm using Mod Podge is because my paint might be a little too thick and if I paint the jar, a lot of that light may not show through. So because Mod Podge does dry clear, it's giving me some substance to add to just a little bit of paint, in other words, to make the paint go a little bit farther, but it'll also give it, you know, give it a translucent look on here. It's not gonna be very, very translucent, and that is why I did not paint the bottom, and I'll show you how I did that. So we're gonna take our paint, and you just take your little jar, kind of sideways, and pour the paint in there, and don't worry if you do get it at the bottom or on the side of the lip here. It's no big deal. So we're gonna get as much paint as we can in there, drip it down the sides and then you're gonna have some fun <laughs> some patience and then just kind of twirl this around till you get the paint to coat all the sides and we try not to get it on the bottom but if we do I have a simple solution it's not that big of a deal okay so we're gonna roll it around and get it on all the sides okay so I'm gonna pour some in there so it falls onto the bottom just to show you that we can fix that Let's say you get some paint on the bottom. Let me spread it out. Let's say you get some paint at the bottom. You're gonna use your brush here to just sweep it off the back. Let's go like that. Just keep sweeping it off. 
and then twirling that paint onto the sides. And then we're going to let most of that drip out, okay? So let's go ahead and let allow that to drip out. Okay, so once you've got that, you keep removing the paint on the bottom and just wipe it off on your little bowl here or on a napkin or just wipe it off on the side of your little glass jar. So I'm just doing that. See if you can see it from here where I'm just wiping it off like that. And it doesn't wipe off like super perfect, but it does help. See? Like that. So then for you're going to continue until you get it all nicely coated. If you want to get the, the little sides here on the bottom edge, go ahead and do that. Just kind of tap it on like that. Don't worry about this uh, outer edge here. The furthest, uh, you know, right up here because this little lid will go there and it'll just cover that up, okay? But you want to paint it up until this little bottom part here. And then just check it and keep twirling your paint. If you have to move it around with your brush, move it around, but remember, tap inside of it because if you do this, you're just wiping it off, okay? So then we're just going to turn these upside down. Let them continue dripping. And I have another little tip for you. All right, so here's another little tip. What if you mixed up a little too much of the paint and you don't want to throw it away because you know it's got some Mod Podge in there. Mod Podge has money or maybe you just want to paint more jars or you need the paint but you can't do it all in one day. So you want to save this paint. You got some Ziploc bags. Put your little paint in there and don't worry about it dripping in there because it's all going to get caught in the bag and it's going to be nice and Ziploc so there's no air in there to dry out your paint. Grab a couple and then you can actually just Put these away wherever you want but I actually have an extra little tip you grab a hanger <laughs> and some clothes pins and then you could just hang your little bags on the hanger and then put them in wherever you want in a closet your craft closet so let me take these off because you could just grab two of them at a time or three of them at a time and just fold it over like that pinch them grab some more and just put as many as you can fit on there now you don't have to fold it over you could just hang them like that if you want it but just a security fold them over i'm going to put two at a time put my clothespin on there and there we go we can hang these on a wall or like i said in a closet somewhere and they'll be nice and safe until you need to use them again all right once enough paint has dripped out of your jars you can turn them over to the side just to make sure that none of it drips down to the bottom. Just turn them on their sides like that and allow the paint to dry. I would turn them over ever so often like so. And as you can see, there's no paint on the bottom. Just put them on their sides and let them dry. All right, so now we want to go ahead and adhere our lights to the lid part, this little metal part of our little jars. So what we want to do is we want to remove the light part from the rest of the steak. So we're just going to twist it right here and remove this whole part. Just like that. And then you can just remove this little sticker here, this little tab which keeps the light from turning on or off. We'll do the same with this one. You could always wait to do this at the very end. You don't have to do it right now. I'll go ahead and remove it. The light is on. It's very, very little bit of light because we are in a, a lighted room. I'm checking to see that this one's working, and it is. They're both working. All right, so now that I know that they're both working, I'm going to take my lids, and I want to put these right in here, okay? Now, they may fit where they actually push into the little hole. This one, for some reason, it doesn't. I had one before that did. Let me test this one. This one actually does kind of go through it. Yeah, it does. Okay, so before you would put them in here, if you got silver ones or like gold or coppery ones and you don't like them like that because you couldn't find the black ones, you might want to paint this part just a little bit on the edge because that's all that's going to show. The rest of it is going to be inside of the jar. It's not going to show at all unless you decide that you want to put it on the top like this for whatever reason. That's fine. But I'm going to put them in here. And this one kind of goes in and it kind of snugly fits in there. And I would leave it like that, but uh, I don't want it to suddenly get pushed into the little jar. So I do want to glue it. This one seems to fit right in there, resting right in there. It does not go through, so that is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
some adhesive glue or use your hot glue, whichever one you want to use. I'm just going to go ahead and use my hot glue for the purpose of the video. And I can put some on the edge here, just because I know this one fits right, resting right on top. And just put it all the way around. And then just grab this. And then just wipe off any glue. There we go, just like that. We're going to let that rest and dry. Actually, I'm going to put it on my silicone mat here. Now I'm going to do the other one, and that one actually does go through a little bit. So you can either put your glue on the inside here or on the outer edge right here. I'm just going to do it with my glue gun. like that. You can turn it over and kind of look in there and if you need to just drip some glue in there and some spots to make sure that it, it is grabbing on. And then this way you have access to the bottom if you need to open it up and replace the battery. But these are so inexpensive you could just rip it off and then put another one in there or just buy another little jar as well and make some new ones. Alright so there we go just taking off any glue and then we'll let them dry completely and we'll go to the next step. All right, so now we wanna put some wire around the lip and so that it has a little handle where we can hang it from. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wire and you're just gonna measure around like that and then give it a little bit of a slack, a couple of inches or an inch and a half and then you're gonna measure how big you want your handle or how tall you want it to be up about so much I think is good and then I'm going to give it another inch and a half to two inches of slack and just trim that right off all right so what I want to do is bring this around grab that little bit of slack here and then just kind of twist it a couple of times you're not going to make it too tight. We're going to leave this be a little bit loose. And the reason that we're doing that is because then we want to create the handle. So bend your wire upward, shape your, your handle, and then slide it inside of this little wire right in here like that. Bring it up and then wrap it around. And this is where you're going to use your little pliers so that you can Squeeze the wire and tighten it up. And it also helps you twist it around. And of course, once you have it twisted, just bend down that little edge, a little sharp edge into itself. So you create that. And now we have a little handle. And this is loose because now we can put it back and to tighten it. Just bring your handle, this little wire here that goes up to the handle, pull that forward and then just tighten this wire and just bend it upward like that. And it's not going to be like super tight, but it's going to be tight enough in there so that you don't have this slip out now. See? It's a little loosey-goosey in there, but it's not too loose that it snaps out. So that's what we want. And then you can just take the end of this one and wrap it around. Trim it off if you have to, which I will. Right there. And then I'm just going to bend that little bit upward a little bit. Now, these little handles, these little things can slide back and forth, especially on the one side where it's just, you know, looped, which is this side right here. This can slide back and forth like that. So in order to avoid that, you could add some glue. And I just use a little craft stick. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I center this because I, it has some words here that say homemade on it. And I want that to be at the very front. So I'm going to center my handle. And then I just use some of this glue. And you can use a little stick or a little popsicle stick like this. And then just kind of 
smear the glue on there so that it gets on the glass and on the wire. Or use your hot glue gun, get it in there. I'll do it on the other side just so it doesn't roll. Give it a little bit of extra hole there just to keep that like that. And then we're gonna let that dry, okay? All right, so now to finish it off, I'm just gonna cut a piece of string that'll go all the way around my lip of my jar here. And of course, this is optional, just like I said before, the painting and the, and the string is all optional. You can do this on a clear jar. You don't have to paint it. And there we go. So now these are ready to push into there. They don't actually screw, they just kind of push right in there. So there we go. Those are finished. All right, so there you can see, they look really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the red one and the blue one, but again, if you don't wanna paint them, you can leave them clear. And this is what it would look like. It looks really cute, just like that. Now, there's another thing you can do. You can take your steaks. You know, we don't wanna throw this away. We can reuse this. So I'm gonna take this part off. See that? This can actually be used for some other little craft. And we can just use this bottom part. I'm gonna take the steak out, turn it over. This is ready to be put into the dirt. If you don't wanna hang it, you don't even have to put the wire hanger. Just do what I did, put the light on here, paint them if you want first. And then you can take the steak and actually glue it to the bottom here. You could actually go ahead and leave this on there and then glue that to the bottom and that's up to you. And then you can create a steak light out of that, okay? So that's just another option. All right, everyone, so I have completed my little jars and I've done one in yellow, I've got one in red, and I have a blue and a green. I still have to put a little bow on this one here and they do need more time to dry. I've noticed that as, the, as they are drying, the color is getting much uh, nicer and deeper, so that's gonna be really pretty. And I also have my little stick here so I can show you how you can just stick this outside in your garden and then just hang the little light just like that. And I think that looks super cute. So I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below and let me know what you think of this little craft. I know a lot of people are creating very similar items like this, but I thought it would be great to do my own version and also to hang them outside because I'm working on my garden right now trying to make it look pretty and I think this will be a nice little addition. I know they're not gonna give off too much light, but I think they will look pretty hanging out there in these colored ones. Now, again, you could just do them clear if you prefer the little lights. And actually, you could hang them anywhere or put them on the stake just like I showed you. Glue the stake underneath. So that is completely up to you. All right, everyone, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. So hit my little icon there or the red subscribe button down below, and then there'll be a little bell. Please, I beg you, please hit that little bell and then just choose all. Otherwise, you won't get any notifications of my video. So it's very important that you go ahead and click on that if you wanna be notified of when I put up videos. And I'm trying to put up videos twice a week again, Forgive me, the last couple of weeks, it's only been one video. I've had my son here visiting, so I wanted to give him my attention. All right, everyone, please share on your social medias. And if you want to share your little jar or your little light that you've created, you can go to Trisha's Creations on Facebook, and you can actually go ahead and just like the page, and you can post your picture or any other comments or questions you might have on that page. I welcome you all to join. So please share on your social medias and as always, enjoy.